here's a quick video of um, I guess a quick way to save some money if you're doing this very specific job so I'm preparing to do a timing belt job on a 99 ES 300 and there's this little gasket I don't know if we can see it here um, but it's this little gasket that goes around right back here and I think there's another little gasket there. So there's at least three gaskets. You can see it on the parts.toyota.com. And they come with three different part numbers. One of them comes with 11329. And you can see it there. Another one, 11328. And then this is supposed to be 11319. But they wrote it wrong. But well, all it is, is it's this rubbery gasket that has this paper backing um, protecting the side that glues into it and it goes into the timing belt cover now maybe I'm wrong but it looks like it's just the same material and they've just cut it to size for these other parts so at my local Toyota dealership this goes for five dollars and twenty eight cents a piece and for each one of these five dollars and twenty eight cents now this one 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 three two nine is a very long, let's see, this is the longest one out of, out of a, a, any of them, and it just goes on and on and on. So what I'm thinking is when you're looking at it and you're looking at, it, it gives you the quantity, it tells you you need like five of one of these, so you need like 20 five dollars almost thirty dollars worth of this stuff when i think i could just get away with getting two of these long ones and then just cutting it to size so if you're having to do a timing belt job and you're wondering if you need all this gasket i may not even need it but it's the original timing belt on a 20 year old car so i'm assuming all the gaskets and stuff are going to be dry rotted and dried out so take a look at that and Try just getting a couple of the 11329, and you should have more than enough gasket material to then cut it to size. So hopefully this, if you're looking to do this job, you can save some money.